Republic and Turkey. We aim out number 540, Max 80 kilograms, for a 2024 qualification bout. In a red corner representing Korea, Kim GTM. Oh, there he is, 28-year-old Kim Jin Jae from the Korean Republic capital of Seoul, making his way towards the boxing ring in search of the Olympic quota place. Han Aikutsun, I think, Honsei was lucky, but in the final round yesterday, against the man, against his opponent Begzigit Ulu from Kyrgyzstan, as we see the five scoring judges, after winning the first two rounds, he just was completely passive and was punched all around the ring. I thought that it should have been a 10-8 round in favor of the man from Kyrgyzstan, as we see Mr. Bachir Abad of Morocco in the neutral corner. But instead, this man only conceded it 10-9 against Omerbek Begzigit Ulu of Kyrgyzstan. I think it should have been 10-8. That would have taken us to the realm of count back. And then it would have been a case of the judges stating their preference. But that isn't what took place, despite him electing to play possum entirely. Outpointing Andre Chemez in his round of 16 encounter was Kim Jin Jae. Multiple national champion of his homeland in South Korea. So this is a contest between boxers who both attempted to qualify via the continental route in 2023. Kim Jin Jae at the Asian Games lost in the first preliminary round at the European Games. The same fate befell Khan Aikutsun from Ankara in Turkey. So our final contest of this boxing Road to Paris event here in Busto, Arsizio, Northern Italy, is in the 80 kilogram division. We're at the quarterfinal stage, and it's between boxers from the Korean Republic and Turkey. The man wearing blue, who is getting busy with his lead left hand, is Khan Aykutsun from Ankara. His opponent, wearing red, is Kim Jin Jae of the Korean Republic. Right hand lead not too far away from Aykutsun. Good left jab scored to the body by Kim. Both men operating in a space of center ring on top of the logo. Plenty of fainting just on the edge of range. He's got very good defense, particularly with his hands. As I cut somebody, he took a shot through the middle there. Did I cut some from Kim? I cut some with his hands and able to block and parry and knock away shots that come in his direction. Combination punching from Mike Kutzen, not necessarily accurate. And here's an example of his glove defense. Just the subtlest of movements, able to deflect the shots that Kim was putting in his direction. Double jab from I Kutzen. I Kutzen's doing really well here, just controlling the pace of Kim. on the midpoint of this opening round. Right hand from Kim, not too far away as I cut some, just respond with a jab to the body. Both men wary to commit because they know that a mistake is likely to be counted immediately. I cut some, kept the attack going, turning it into a two-phase attack and a left uppercut was a flashy shot which just grazed the head of Kim. Work to the body from Kim. He needs to be really careful as he steps back because when he steps back, he does it so with his chin in the air and his hands by his chest. The fainting on the edge of range continues as they try to draw a lead that they can react to. Nice right hand to end that forward foray from I oh. but how about that for exchanges of hooks? And Kim may have been hurt by the final hook because it was he who was sent tottering backwards, but both men landing forceful punches at mid-range. And Kim creeping forward, looking to take it to Aikutsun. Aikutsun engaging reverse gear here now. He may think that he has done enough to get the first round in his favor. Disengaging, 
just beyond punching range. Here's a right hand between the guard and another right hand from Kim. Double right hand success in the closing stages of the opening round. A very cagey round between two box punches. My goodness. Both men enjoying success, but this man giving the impression that it was he controlling the tempo, and that is why he has perhaps edged it on a 3-2 split, courtesy of his ring generalship, judges three and five, preferring the work of Kim. Good work there for Mike Hudson, just catching his, catching his man there as he's coming in. Better with the, the second phase attacks. This was the little heated exchange where he caught, where he caught Kim and just staggered him back onto his heels. coach being ushered out of the boxing ring so we can get this second round underway the first was a very cagey encounter indeed as Kim scores with a counter left jab I Kutzen who took it on a 3-2 split I Kutzen the reigning multiple national champion of Turkey counter left hand on the back foot was a scoring shot from the man in red I Kutzen scoring with a jab to the body two men again Continuing to faint and shimmy and shape on the edge of range. Both men targeting the body with straight shots. I Kutzen didn't fully commit to the lead left hook. Wasn't countered by Kim, but then scoring single came from I Kutzen in response. I Kutzen continuing to score with that thrusting left hand to the body. They're looking for a left hook, but couldn't, couldn't find a range as the arms of he and Kim entangled. There's a beautiful left jab from I Kutzen, but that back comes Kim with a left right and it bursts into action once again. A trade off at center ring. I Kutzen very correct indeed behind that left hand, kept the attack going. Right cross, left jab, and the left jab did get through. Neither man looking to work on the inside. Kim spoken to about keeping his head up. Jab on the resumption from I Kutzen, double jab in response from Kim. And again, because both boxers are so keen to show that it's not they doing the holding, neither man looking to work on the inside. And to me, those are missed opportunities. Rapier-like -right, right hand from Kim from long range. Really good work with the, with the jab by Eckhudson. It's really setting his punches up. And Kim needs to work a little bit harder here. Kim having success with hooks, but Eckhudson matching him. And now Eckhudson claiming his man, walking him back to the ropes. Now, uh, because of the torrid body attack, uh, Ikutsen absorbed. Oh, that's a beautiful shot on the resumption from Ikutsen. But he was really worked over downstairs, Ikutsen. Scores with a left jab, and I wonder whether this comparatively low punch output where he is controlling the tempo is because he's mindful of running out of gas in the third, round, third and final round as he appeared to do so dramatically yesterday when he was punched all over the ring by Begzigit Ulu of Kyrgyzstan. Counter right hook from Kim was an eye-catching shot during that exchange. Kim needs to be throwing a lot more of those shots now. He hasn't got, he hasn't got the, the time to be able to just sit back and counter punch. And again, if there is a question mark of the ability of I Kutzen to box three rounds at a high tempo, then surely Kim needs to be examining and exploring that. But this type of punch out output, I Kutzen appears comfortable. Oh. Right hand snuck home on the bell by Kim. Remember the first round, a 3-2 split in this man's favor. It was a very similar second round. So we've got two scores of 2018 for I Kutzen, two scores of 19 points apiece, one score of 2018 for judge number five in favor of Kim. The, the tallies of judges one and three from Kazakhstan and Poland respectively are going to be the crucial determinants of the outcome of this bout. It's all relying on this last round who goes through. Oh, beautiful jab by I Kutzen there. If Eikutsen can keep that jab going, keep throwing those punches, he could take this third, third round. 
I think Kim needs to do a little bit more. He can't afford to sit back now and counter punch. He has to be going forward and taking the fight to Aikutsen. Into the third and final round then of a contest that is up for grabs after six minutes of boxing. Because for judges one and three, it is all square, 19 points apiece. For judge number five, it is 20 points to 18 for the man who has just landed a beautiful right cross to the body. That is Kim Jin Jae of the Korean Republic. While judges two and four have Khan Aikutsen leading 20 points to 18. So Aikutsen only... Oh! Now losing his footing on a forward for eight. Kim. Kim needs to convince both judges one and three that he's the better, better boxer here in the third round whereas i Kutzen only needs to convince one of those two observers leading by 20 points to 18 for two of the five scoring judges again no discernible increase in tempo from kim and at this type of pace i Kutzen is so comfortable when he was put under pressure by beg zigit ulu yesterday counter right hand for my Kutzen's a beautiful shot you see two heavily muscled 80 kilogram boxers touching left jab is a scoring shot for my Kutzen then a right hand over the top and again just claiming his man allowing his energy levels to recover and preventing Kim from potentially working away on the resumption it's a reverse one two right cross left hook from Kim before I Kutzen ties him up once again I thought Kim would be working a lot harder and really trying to push his man in blue back back to the ropes working him hard especially seeing as he started to wilt yesterday in the latter round kim is going through the gears here now many of the shots blocked by the gloves and forearm but kim increasing his punch output lead left hook was off the mark the counter left hook from i kutzen was right on the money but again i kutzen going walkabout kim has surely got to take it to him and does exactly that with a left right combination followed by a right cross through the middle and again, it's Ai Kutzen initiating the clinch. Surely Kim has got to pose the question about this man's engine. Oh, that's oh. a solid left hook, which shook Ai Kutzen down to his boots. And it's Ai Kutzen holding on once again, claiming Kim beneath his armpit and wrapping him up around his lats. Ai Kutzen lands a right hand on the resumption. Oh, that's oh. a cracking right cross landed by Kim. I Kutzen getting his hands up, bracketing his head with his hands, closing 20 seconds. And remember, two tied scores of 19 points apiece. Kim leads 2018 for judge number five. I Kutzen leads 2018 for judges two and four. Surely Kim has got to get his hands free and work away and not accept this clinch. Big swing and a miss from both boxes. Kim comes forward, made to miss with a left hook. Counter right hand landed by I Kutzen. Well, well, well. Which way is this one going to go? And it's not quite, but it is almost a case of deja vu from Khan I Kutzen's point of view. Because again, in the third and final round, his work rate dropped considerably or his punch output compared to the first two rounds. But he backing that he has done enough to convince one of either judges one or three that he is the better boxer here now. He leads 20 points to 18 for judges two and four. Kim leads 20 points to 18 for judge number five. This one could well be split. Remember, Kim needs to convince both of judges one and three that he was the better boxer in the third round. So he doesn't just need to win it, he needs to convince particular observers given the context of the cards after six minutes of boxing. And it is Khan Aikutsen of Turkey. He secures the Olympic quota place, having outpointed Kim Jin Jae of the Korean Republic, a 4 1 split decision victor. Khan Aikutsen doing an outstanding job and he fulfills his Olympic ambition and he will compete at Paris 2024 later in the summer. Kim Jin Jae is going to require the final qualification opportunity at the final global qualification event in Indonesia. Whereas 
Khan Aikutsen finding the energy to celebrate the fulfillment of a lifetime dream. Controlled the tempo very well in the first two rounds and then in the third round did enough to prevail on a 4-1 split decision verdict. And here, some of the action from that round. And again, have to say that's perfect bounce management from Karnai Kutsen. Really good work from Aikutsen there. Um, like you said, Ron, just controlling the fight. Um, Kim just couldn't get just couldn't get out of out of second gear. I feel he just needed to work a little bit harder and push his man back to the ropes. So the final round actually won by Kim Jin Jae, but again, where he won those rounds was absolutely crucial. And it is Karnai Kutsen who prevails. 29-28 for four of the judges. The distribution of the scores 